Hi, Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome to the premiere and launch of my 2024 make along. Yes, I am doing another make along. It will last six months. It will start on the 1st of January and close on the 30th of June, 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Australia. It's open worldwide. All YouTube policies and rules apply. Terms and conditions and eligibility to enter will be in the description below. Please read them carefully before you participate. There will be a monthly prize draw for one lucky participant. And at the end of the make long, there will be a mystery prize draw of which I will give away three mystery prizes. So to be eligible to go in the major mystery drop prize draw at the end, you will have had to have participated for at least four months. That's the admin out of the way. Let's get on with the fun stuff. What is the make along called and what is it themed on? Well, the make along is hashtag shutterbug au. Hashtag shutterbug au. What's a shutterbug? A person who enjoys taking lots of photos but isn't a professional photographer. And I'm definitely a shutterbug when on holidays. Sometimes I have to stop myself and enjoy the moment rather than keep taking photos. Are you guilty of that? Most of us are. Anyway, how will it work? Once a fortnight, I'll show you a photo with a yarn palette next to it. Possibly of my trip, where I live. Any photo I think has a great yarn palette. How do I do this? Well, I put my photo into an app called Crochet Studio. This app was recommended by Gary from Urban Yarn about a year ago. It is a free app, but I pay the yearly subscription, which is less than $50, so I don't get all the ads. And I found I use it quite a bit for different things. There are other things on there, but the yarn palette is really great. So I'll show you a sample. This is not our first photo. For the make along. This is just a sample of how it works. This is a photo I took, I hope it's not glaring, I took before the night before Cyclone Jasper crossed the coast and caused all the damage. The sky was very pink and I put it into Crochet Studio and that's the palette it came up with. So that's how it'll work. I will show you a photo with a yarn palette. You will pick at least two colours. You can use more from the yarn palette in your project. Your project can be absolutely anything you want to knit, crochet or sew. It can be whatever you like, shawls, amigurumis, wearables, entirely up to you. As long as you use two colours once a fortnight from the yarn palette that I show you. So. It'll take about 12 photos and I have got 12 photos ready. But a couple of weeks ago I thought a bit of a twist would be great if you, my subscribers, who want to take part in the make along or just want to submit a photo that I can put into Crochet Studio and get a yarn palette from a favourite holiday snap, a photo of where you live. That would be awesome. All you have to do is email me your photo and give me permission to use it so I can put it into Crochet Studio. Now remember, I only need 12 photos, so please don't be offended if I don't use your photo. One of the reasons is Crochet Studio can be a little clunky. To get 12 really good photos, I put about 30 photos in there. And a lot of the yarn palettes that kept pulling up for that photo just didn't look right. So yes, it could be a case of the Crochet Studio just cannot adapt to your photo to give it a great yarn palette. The other thing it will do, you may have noticed, on the bottom, and I'm going to try and delete that before I um, do the make-along, it recommends a yarn. Now, I am not affiliated with any yarn companies, and I do not recommend yarns. So, entirely up to you what yarn you use. My project. Well, my project is going to be the Bumpy Cuddle Bug. This will be my shutter bug. Feel free to join me. It is a free pattern by Hobie. He's pretty ugly, but he's also very cute. 
I did plan to make this before and I actually bought yarn for it but now I think he will make a great shutter bug in a lot of colors it the yarn it recommends I've worked out is either DK eight ply or what's the other one three weight and you hold two of them together so you could possibly do it in a four weight entirely up to you feel free to make any project and also feel free to join me and make your own shutter bug I'm not affiliated with Hobie. I just like the pattern. Don't think I have any affiliations. I don't at the moment. I just really like this. I think he's really cute and ugly. So pretty much, sorry, I've dropped my notes. That's how the project will work. You will post your photos once a month, once a fortnight if you wish, on Instagram or in the Facebook group page with hashtag Shutterbug hey you. Shutterbug AU. Do not forget the AU. It makes it really easy for me to find you. You can also, if not into social media, email me your photos and I give me permission to show them or not. Entirely up to you. Now for those of you who are using Ravelry and more and more people are getting into using it more, if you wish me to set up a Ravelry group where you can post your finished objects or your photos, let me know in the comments below. I have done one before, but I only got two or three participants and it was a lot of work and wasn't really worth it. So please let me know. So what else do I need to tell you? So the monthly prize will be a $25 gift voucher. If you don't need a gift voucher, we'll come to some arrangement and do something else. That's all. It'll be a participant prize draw in that month. Whoever participates will go into the draw and I'll pull, pull one person out. Just be aware it's only one person during the month. Um, and that's pretty much it. Shutterbug AU. I think it'll be a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to getting your photos. I'm going to make my cuddle bug out of the yarn in my very old Lion Brand Mystery Santa sack. Um, I have a lot of marble eight ply. The blue, I'm sure, was from Ulia, my friend. Look, I have all these colours. And this year, in 2024, I am determined to use all this yarn up because I have another drawer full of that yarn. I'm going to either use it in charity projects, amigurumis, and definitely in my Shutterbug project for my make-along. Guys, I hope you come and join us. It should be a lot of fun. I hope we get more people participating and having a laugh. At what Some of the photos. Just remember, if you're sending me a photo, they must be socially acceptable. Otherwise, they won't get used. Okay, take care, stay well, and make sure you're organised to join the Make Along on January the 1st when I will show you the first photo to kick it off. Bye for now.